Hello, hello. So this is another pickups video. Uh, basically, so I picked up some decent stuff uh, since the last video. So I just wanted to keep up to speed uh, with the stuff that I've got. Uh, went out a couple of times uh, shopping with my wife actually a couple of times since uh, she's been free recently. So uh, let's get down to it. Uh, I'll start off with something that I picked up for ten dollars this was a a mickey mouse game and watch uh nintendo 1981 uh, i bought some batteries from the one dollar shop or hyakuen uh, and it works nicely this uh, mickey mouse game is pretty cool i mean I, I don't enjoy playing old games too much i'm not much of a uh, an Atari Commodore or anything like that those those sorts of simple simplistic games they I, I just lose my attention very very quickly so uh, as much as they have nostalgic value to some people they just don't appeal to me at all uh, uh, yeah that that was the first thing that was ten ten dollars or or six quid seven quid I suppose uh, six or seven pounds so not not bad at all really for a vintage game. Uh, second thing I bought uh, recently was a, a boxed pocket station. Uh, now, pocket stations are uh, little memory card thingies with little mini games on the LCD screen that you can play with. It's compatible with a few games. I know it's, it's compatible with uh, Final Fantasy VIII, uh, so you can get some extra items that aren't available in the actual game. This is compatible as well with the, the, the POW and the NTSC American versions as well. So you can get the extra items through that. Uh, you'd have to use the, the web to find uh, the extra information to how to complete the mini Chocobo game, which is apparently quite challenging. Uh, I think not challenging in terms of difficulty, or challenging in terms of accomplishing it through just being like confused. I think that was the not knowing what to do, just knowing how to do it, the strategy, I guess. Uh, so that was that. Uh, two, oh, 250 yen, so $2.50 or uh, pound sixty or something like that. And it's in really good condition, so that was a steal, absolute steal. Uh, yesterday, I went to a recycling shop and I picked up uh, Banjo-Tooie and Banjo-Kazooie. Is that right? No, Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie uh, for $2 each, so about pound twenty. Uh, 200 yen each so that was good I haven't cleaned them yet they're well filthy uh, got writing on the back of this one a label on the top this one's banjo tui which is obviously the more expensive rare one uh, it's cleaner uh, it will clean up all right it will clean up fine so yeah two dollars each not too bad uh, now this is one thing I picked up I went to a recycling shop uh, about 20 kilometers from my house my wife drove down and I uh, I went inside, went inside, looked around, didn't buy anything. Uh, bought actually bought a few games for cheap, pretty cheap. Uh, there's games here that I ha had, and there's games that I sold as well that I didn't need, but I knew that they weren't, they were worth more than the 50 yen they were selling them for. So I was selling games for like 30p. So I was, of course, I was going to pick them up. Final Fantasy IV for the Wonder Swan and stuff like that, and I got it for 50p, uh, 30p. So I just picked them up uh, and flogged them. Uh, I think sold the same day, more or less. Uh, so, and then I went uh, back and then I was go Googling, I'd like, searching for something that I'd seen. And I was like, holy shit, that thing sells for like $500, $1,000 uh, on eBay. So, and I never thought it would or anything like that. So, uh, I had, we'd got ha gotten halfway home, but we had a meeting. So, we had to go to this meeting. Then my wife said, oh, I'll drive you back. So, I was like, all right, cool, drive me back. Now, I've got no use for this uh, again got no personal use for this but it's something that's pretty cool anyway uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and just show you what it is rather than mumble on about it it's a uh, Parappa the Rapper toaster obviously Parappa the Rapper was uh, an innovative game that was uh, made that was a button synchronized uh, pushing uh, to make him dance and rap I, I presume I'm not a big fan of synchronized button tapping I think I've said that in a previous video I actually I actually quite despise the, the idea, uh, like there's one on the Dreamcast, Samba something, there's also all the Guitar Hero games, I mean, that, they really, really annoy me, those sorts of games. So, obviously it looks really cool, it, it prints uh, characters from the, the game 
onto toast uh, by using little slides, metal slides that slide into the toaster. Now I'm actually going to open this and show you because it's pretty cool and it's well worth looking at. Uh, as long as I don't bloody drop it. Uh, so this is it. This is the toaster. Now I've got to move the box. That is the toaster. This is basically brand new. I don't think it's been used. I can't see any crumbs in it. I can see a bit of uh, a bit of uh, rust. Not rust. I don't know what you'd call it, but it's kind of rusting a little bit inside. Because I guess it's like 15 years old. Uh, but it's got the little slides as well. So they print uh, different characters. There's Parappa. Uh, so they print characters onto the toast. Apparently, people have made toast with it. Uh, I looked on websites and it doesn't work particularly well. But again, uh, if you're buying this, you're probably a collector of video game uh, paraphernalia and you're not going to be making toast with it unless you're, on, you're an asshole or a butt plug. But, uh, so yeah, anyway, that's like super cheap. Uh, I got it for $40, which seemed like a lot for a bloody toaster at the time. But then I thought... Once I'd seen how much it sold for, that was it, I was sold. So I just went back and picked it up. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool item. Again, again, I would never keep it. I've got no use for it. I'm not one of those people that needs like anime toys and, and different stuff. I like the games because uh, obviously I can play them and that I enjoy them. But I, I've got Parappa the Rapper actually. I bought it for 50 yen. Uh, but I, I didn't enjoy it uh, too much. So I... I've got no affiliation, no emotional connection to Parappa the Rapper at all. So for me, it's something that I'm definitely just going to pass on uh, to someone else that would appreciate it. So same shop. Uh, I uh, actually probably spent a bit too much money on this, but uh, it's something I mentioned in the last video. I was after a white PlayStation, uh, kind of for myself, but then I've got I've got four, which you're about to see in a sec. Now, I'm not collecting them uh they're being sold on some of them. I'm keeping probably uh, one, my pink one, because I love the pink one. Uh, so I uh, basically saw a really nice condition slim PS2. So it was white and it was $55, which is quite a lot really. So you're talking unboxed, came with a controller, which was in pretty good shape. Uh, and this, But it, this actual unit was really good condition and inside it was... Uh, basically brand spanking new as well so I just had to pick it up because of the condition uh, and because it's slimline there's a few of them on eBay they're actually quite common uh, they're not uncommon uh, but the Japanese ones are less common uh, Japanese P PlayStation 2's now this is the thing in Japan PlayStation 2's are still expensive and I, I can't work out why I don't know why uh, comparatively speaking because you you see it, even in the discount stores like Hard Off uh, here, uh, PlayStation Two sells for seventy dollars, uh, and they can be just the black one. Uh, actually, they're all the same price. Like they'll sell the pink ones and the white ones and the uh, blue see-through blue ones and whatever color you can f imagine, for, for all all for the same price. They don't really uh, separate the the prices, so it's a bit weird actually uh, for them to do that. It doesn't work that way in our countries. But yeah, that's why the Japanese PS2s are really expensive on eBay. They're not cheap at all. Uh, and it's because they're, they're not cheap here to buy. That's the problem. I mean, I've managed to get them. Really, That was expensive for me. $55 is actually a lot of money to spend on a Japanese PlayStation 2. So uh, went from there. Uh, so that was, yeah, $55, 30, 35 quid, probably something like that. So yesterday, where I bought Banjo, Tui, Banjo, Kazoo, it was a recycling shop not far from where I live. Uh, I walked in, same place I bought the see-through blue PlayStation, which was in my last pickup video. In exactly the same position, straight on top of the two black ones, uh, was a, f a fucking white one. The fat ceramic one. And I was like, holy shit, Like, how did that get there? And I was talking about it in the last video, and how it appeared in exactly the same position as the blue one. Uh, was just astonishing. Uh, so uh, I, I walked past it a couple of times, and I, it looked filthy. It was it was filthy. And then I picked up the crap that the bloke just put on top of it because this is a real junk shop. Seriously, they sell like antiques and lamps and secondhand cables and you know secondhand. Like, they sell 
second-hand skin if they could get their hands on it, I suppose. It's one of those places they just stack it high, sell it cheap, don't even know what he's got. I, I saw a N64 on the stairs. I saw an original Xbox, which I don't want. It's too big and heavy. Uh, unless I find one box, and then I'll, I'll stash it somewhere. But, yeah, I found this beauty just sitting there. I mean, I've cleaned it up now. Uh, he said it was junk. Uh, it was in the junk section, so it was junk to him. So I assumed that it wouldn't work. It would be broken like the see-through blue, blue PlayStation. I had to uh, fix the had to fix the the disc tray to make it work. But I got this home, cleaned it up, connected it up, and it plays DVDs, PlayStation Two games, PS One games. And it's in really, really, really nice shape. The top is basically flawless. Uh, and these are like probably probably one of my favourite PS2 consoles, the white ones. They just look really snazzy, for want of a better word. I thought snazzy is a great word. I like snazzy. Snazzy is good. Uh, so, yeah, I had that. And I just had to have it. 1,000 yen, $10. Uh, six pounds, so you can't go wrong, can you? Hello, darling. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing in here? I'm only joking. You can stay here. Don't worry. Make me some food. I'm only joking. Make me a drink. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm going to show you. Uh, you Missa. What? Shh. This is a video. This is a professional. This is a professional shooting moment. I'm a director of my own little moment here, so you, you have to. Think. I don't think I know. I'm going to be famous one day. I've got 20 subscribers already. You're recording that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they know, anyway. They know I'm going to be famous. I've got mu movie star attributes. So it's just a matter of time. And I've got four PlayStation 2s. So it's just a matter of time, darling. Just a matter of time. Just mark my words. They saw me. Yeah, they saw you. Well, maybe I'm going to lose a few subscribers now. But... Wow. Yeah, I know. It's tragic, isn't it? Probably. Yeah, because of you. So... Could you just get out and then my popularity rating might skyrocket so uh, anyway i'm gonna turn the camera around and just i know this is sort of pathetic but i'm gonna show you the stack of four different playsets that i've got because it just looks pretty cool to me anyway so i've got pink at the bottom blue these are metallic pink metallic blue see-through blue and uh, ceramic white i call it ceramic white but they look cool anyway so let's go around the side uh, so I love the fat PlayStations. I'm not a fan of the s the slim ones. Uh, I just think they just look a bit too too indiscreet. Uh, I like the idea when they first came out. I was like, wow, a small PlayStation. It, it can do the same thing. And it's really tiny, half the size, less than half the size. But now looking back on it, this is the original PlayStation 2 shape. This is what they should have looked like. This is what a PlayStation 2 is to me now. And they just look more imposing and uh, much better for if you're going to display them, if you collect them as well, they look much better uh, for display. The little ones, yeah, they look cool, but they're just they they're not imposing, you know. They don't have that uh, they don't have that oomph on display, or they don't look as good, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, uh, that was about it. But basically, I paid two thousand, three thousand, five, fit, fit. 50, no, no, $70. $70, so about 50 quid for those four PlayStations. They all work. I've tested them all. I use one, the pink one, all the time uh, to play DVDs and and play get, test games. Test games, darling. I test games. Yeah, I test games. I never play them. I never, I never play games, darling. I just test them for long times. No, no, I'm not talking to you, darling. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, that was about it, just a short pickups video. Well, the same length as the others, actually, because I end up babbling. Uh, but, yeah, pretty cool stuff anyway. I'm, like, funny how I was talking about the white ceramic PlayStation and then I bumped into one as well. It's pretty cool. I was well happy. Uh, so, yeah, uh, thanks very much, and uh, see you again sometime. Bye-bye.